So as you know, in the previous class, we talked about loading select uh, list conditionally or filtering select list like you see here in select United States, you have the countries and the states in the United States. If you select another country in Nigeria, you have the states in Nigeria. If I select India, uh, I don't think I've added any state in India. But if I go to parameters home, I may just add one state in India. I don't know about Indian states, but let's say we have I uh, want to add one state in India, let me call it Bangalore, Bangalore, okay, so I've added a state in India, I don't know about the capital of this state, but I'm just going to replicate this and add a capital and call the code BG, BG, and I'm going to save a new state in India. If I go back to the locations now and I select India, in adding a new location, I select India, we will see the state we added Bangalore. This is what we did in the previous class before this one. I think this class should now be part 34. Let's do parent-child form. What is parent-child form? Let me explain to you. So if I go back to parameters form and go to countries and go to country details. Okay, so these country details, actually this should be um, uh, disabled or read only. We want to have a list of items of the state in this country displayed under this list, okay? That is what we want to do here. We want to do display a list of states in this country as a child form of this, but it's going to be a list, it's not going to be a form. So it's, you can't just uh, have a form under a form. You have a list of items that's going to, it's going to be the child of this form we have right here. So how do we do this? It's very easy because the country object, as I explained in the previous class, contains a list of states as well. So we simply say the list of states display in the table. So let's go do it instead of just talking. Um, so to do it, I'm going to first, I, I don't, let me close this Firefox here. I'm going to go to the country page. Now I can do it for country and state. Now, you do it for states and locations because state, a state will have certain locations, so you do it for that one. So for now, I'm going to do it for country and states. So I'm going to go to country details here, and I have this session here, session wrapper, div row, and we have this, this container here, and inside the container, I have one row. I'll simply add a second row in the container. It's going to be div. Uh, the class is equal to row justify uh, justify content center if I can remember okay okay so uh, states here okay so let's put this the list of states in here and I'm going to refresh just to make sure I've not broken anything because that is what you should do if you change up something just check that you've not broken anything so what we should see is that we have another row under the under the form for country and we are going to display the list of states there and that's about working with UI it's not my favorite thing to do uh, always working with UI uh, let's see um, actually instead of using this I'm simply going to copy this and uh, use it there and just change your things so I'm going to copy this and use it here and change up things. So I'm going to remove this form. Give me a second, let me just check. I'm going to remove the form tag there. I'm going to remove this form tag should go away and the form tag should go away. So we have two sections that display the header and the content. So here instead of saying editing country like a record, I'm going to say list of states in in, in country now you can actually display the the name of the country here using this th value here you see you can use th value here so I'm going to just copy this and uh, actually we are going to use th test let me copy this uh, let me see, th test this should be okay let's get back to this actually I can use it uh, B. Okay, it's gonna be th text is equal to country the description and this is going to be B. Okay, 
So let's leave it this way for now. We are going to fix this later on, or we are going to test it later on. So this is going to be the header that says list of states in country, country. Now, in the body of this panel, we are going to remove all these forms here. Uh, so let me remove all these forms here. Okay, so we should have empty form, empty space here. So I'm going to say table of states. And let's just check that we've not broken anything uh, by refreshing this play, uh, the application. Um, so why do we have this? Oh, okay, I understand why. Actually, we should remove it. Okay, so let me refresh. Okay, so you have list of country in United States, all right? So if I go back here and go back to countries and choose another uh, state, I'm going to choose Nigeria. So it says list of states in Nigeria. So we got it right in time leave, but now we're going to remove this, uh, this last footer here. We're going to remove it and then we display the table of states there. So this last footer should just go. And here in table of states, we are going to, let's go, we are going to simply copy the, the table of states and this, uh, uh, from the states table. So I'm going to the states table now here. Uh, yeah, so we are going to copy the states table. I'm going to just copy the whole table here. This is states table. So I'm going to copy it and use it in countries here. I'm going to use it in countries. Let me just check one more time. Okay, so I'm going to use it in countries here. So I'm going to paste, okay. Now we should have a um, list of states in country, that is fine. And now we are going to say th each state in country dot states because what we have in this form is a country object. So the list of states should be country dot states. So I'm going to put it here country dot states. It's going to give us a list of states there. And again, we are going to refresh, just check to make sure that everything is still working fine. Uh, yeah, so let's go back here and refresh this page. Okay, so perfect, I think it's working. So we have a list of states in, in states, um, that is fine here. So let's try to change to United States, let's go to list, uh, money countries and United States here. You can see it gave us lists of states in United States uh, here. But normally in a child form, you don't want to put these actions. So I could remove it. And also we can make this to be one line. So that I can do. I can also give you as a homework to do. So now you understand parent child form. Homework for you, please uh, change this to be one single line. List of states in, in United States, one single line, do it yourself. Remove these actions here because it's optional. And if you click on it, uh, I, I'm not sure what will happen, but let's just try. Oh, it, it also works. So you can also use it if you want. So we've covered uh, displaying parent child forms. What is the next in our list? In our list, the next we have homework for you, CRUD for contacts. Well, what do we mean? If I go back to parameters, we should have the contact here uh, is not being done, so you should do it yourself. So let me get back to the place here. Crawl for contact, you should do it uh, yourself. I'm going to do it at home as well. So in the next class, we should have had crawl for contact, contact, and then we are going to do together. Uh, so we are going to actually jump from here. We are going to be doing in the next class, we are going to be working on on CRUD for clients, because in that case, I'm going to explain to you how to use two columns in a form. So I'd like to stop here. Please remember to subscribe to my channel and also please leave me a comment if this has been informative for you. I remain kind of the genius and I'm always there for you.